So first of all, let's talk about Kim Kardashian taking acting lessons. So as we know, our girl Kim Kardashian's been prepping to join the cast of American Horror Story. And when she was at the Met on Monday, she opened up and had a quick convo with Variety about how she's diving into the world of acting and she's taking some lessons. So first of all, Kate, you and I, we are diehard Kardashian fans through and through. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, what are you thinking about Kim stepping into this whole, I mean, this is a hit franchise. This is like one of the biggest shows that I know of in pop culture history. So talk to me, what are your thoughts about Kim joining into this? I mean, American Horror Story is like a household name TV show that's been going on for like, for, since I was in high school at least. And, mm -hmm. you know, there have been some really heavy hitter actors on that show, Sarah Paulson to name one, who's like, one of the most iconic actresses of our generation. So Kim, I would imagine, is probably feeling the pressure. And I'm feeling the pressure for her. I mean, there's a lot riding on this. She could really fall flat on her face. This is like not a jokey, funny little show. This is a serious drama that it's AHS. Like it's it's not some silly little reality show that she's on. You know, she has to learn lines. Does she know how to learn lines? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we don't know. We're gonna find out, though. I definitely am a little nervous, but I think I'm I'm excited to see what she does. I'm not a huge American Horror Story fan, but I have from what I have seen, it's definitely challenging acting. So I'm interested to see how she measures up, or if she measures up. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with you. Like you said, it's a huge show. These are huge shoes to fill. Um, and it's it's not like a sitcom, right? It's not campy. She doesn't get to just walk in and just crack a couple jokes. You know, this is definitely going to take some serious acting chops of hers. Um, overall, I think that I, I don't know personally how to feel about it. I know that a lot of celebrities have chimed in. And what's interesting is there is no support in the community of celebrities or really in the acting community for Kim crossing over and doing something quite like this. Um, I know that Patti Lapone chimed in and she was, just, I can't remember exactly what she said, but basically, absolutely not. People are professionals. You, you have 10,000 hours for a reason. What do you think that mm -hmm. she's feeling in terms of not really receiving any type of like support from the fellow thespians out here in, in LA? What do you think of that? I mean, I can imagine it doesn't feel very good. I mean, there there's two folds to this. There's one part of me that's like, oh, that pressure must be horrific, you know, being told, you know, over and over that you can't do it by, you know, someone as famous in the acting community as Patti Lapone. And I know there are mm -hmm. several other actors who have chimed in as well. And, you know, that can't feel very good. And I also think that she is probably used, you know, the other part of this argument is she's probably used to criticism in every sense of right. the word. I mean, she's always dragged through the media for what she's wearing, what she said, you know, get up and work. If we remember that, you know, she's been a part of a couple scandals. Like she's on a reality television show. Everyone has comments to make about Kim Kardashian, but as a person, and there's something that's so vulnerable about acting. That's not quite like your reality TV persona, it's like somewhat more intimate and vulnerable that I feel like it must be hitting her, I would imagine. I feel like if as I, I was in her position, I would be feeling very vulnerable and upset and nervous and my feelings would be hurt and I would be nervous to put anything out there. You know, acting is all about risks. I don't know if she'll be able to take them if she doesn't feel support. I agree. I think here's my situation i'm i'm all for people trying different things also the fact that i don't uh, completely agree with the idea of like a reality show being like it's not really just one person just going out there and completely exposing themselves there's there's storylines there's production assistance behind the scenes that people don't realize and that people don't ever give any give any credit to for sure i mean you have to make a show right nobody just wants to watch a reality show of somebody just sitting there on their phone so yeah. i think that i think that she has and she's had some experiences with smaller roles in the past. I think that it's hard to be able to step into such a such a, a hard show, too. I think that maybe if she were easing in through a different medium other than American Horror Story, she'd be seeing maybe a little bit more support. Um, totally. But then I think to myself, like, do you think that this is going to be a full series role? Do you think that I know this is like an anthology type of show? I've seen a couple episodes, mm -hmm. but do you think that mm -hmm. she'll be in? Um, do you think that she'll come back and continue to reprise the same role? Or do you think that she's just going to be in like an episode and then kind of disappear? What are you thinking? My first reaction is, oh my God, no. But yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I can imagine it's, 
I don't really know why they're casting her. I feel like American Horror Story does fine yeah. numbers wise. I mean, I haven't looked at them, so I don't know, but maybe they're struggling and they need to bring some level of attraction to their franchise, a wider audience. I mean, who has a wider audience than, than Kim Kardashian? Like no one, yeah. maybe one of her sisters. But, you know, I, like you said, I'm all for somebody trying something new. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if she'll be coming back, if she's reprising this role over a series of episodes, if it's one episode, if, it, you know, I have no idea. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think it'll be interesting to see. Maybe she'll surprise us. Maybe she'll be a great actor. I don't know. Well, or maybe she'll be horrible. The way you said, I don't know. The way you said that, Kate, I love it. Oh, no, no. It's, um, I think that honestly, too, I will, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on her side a little bit. But at the mm -hmm. same time, I also have a degree in acting. So I'm a little bit like yeah. about it. You know, it's just it's hard. People do work yeah. and invest in themselves and yeah. in their career. So I don't want to see yeah. somebody else that could have played this role. I'm hoping that it's like a, a curated role specifically. Like I'm hoping it's a for version her. of her in the show. You know what I mean? That's I'm kind hoping of that as well. What I'm praying for. Um, mm -hmm. And keep in mind, too, she did surprise everybody with her SNL skits and her appearance on SNL. Um, she did. The there. What was it, it like? That a year was ago comedy. Yeah, that's true. That, that is very true. So who knows? Oh my goodness! Look I at feel her. like if she's if it's, oh, look at her and Pete. Oh, <laughs> R.I.P. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. So we'll see. We'll have to keep. We'll have to keep an eye out and see what really happens. Apparently, at the end of um, this month, I believe she starts to begin to shoot her portion. I think she said that they've already started the production for the next round of American Horror Story, but then she'll step in around the end of this month. So we'll have to we'll have yeah. to see what the future holds with that. But speaking of Pete, 